Hey guys, welcome again to Honey's Kitchen. I would like to thank everyone who's always and always watching on my videos. Thank you for your love and support. For those who are new on my channel, welcome. Our recipe for today is caramel squares with walnut topping. If you would like to know how to create this, keep on watching. For this recipe, we need one and half cup of room temperature salted butter, eight egg yolks, one can of sweetened condensed milk, half teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of powdered milk, two cups of all-purpose flour, and nuts for toppings. You can use any nuts of your preference but this is just an optional. You may or you may not put nuts on it. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I prepared my pan. So I, I brushed it with lard or you can use vegetable oil or butter. And then you put parchment paper on top of it. It's so important to do this process because this is so hard to take out later so it's it's not only that you have to put parchment paper but you also have to grease your pen and then we can grab our mixing bowl so we are gonna put everything on our mixing bowl except for the flour so this is a very easy recipe this is very good for beginners so so we have here our butter our sweetened milk then we will add our egg yolks powdered milk our granulated sugar and the baking powder now you will ask why did i put my baking powder first hand on the wet ingredients because we only have a little amount of baking powder so it's so important to put it first so it will be divided nicely all over to your ingredients so all we have to do is to put everything except for the flour and then we can gonna mix it nicely so that all the ingredients are well incorporated with each other so we're gonna start with low, low speed and then gradually um, increasing the speed of your mixer Okay, so it doesn't take too long to mix that. Why? Because it's so important 
that your butter is a room temperature butter so it easily blends to the other ingredients so i pulled out my butter from the freezer last night so i let it uh, stay in the top of the counter overnight so it will be nice and soft and why do we put the flour last because we don't want to over mix the flour and create a lot of gluten. So I am putting now finally the flour and then we'll just gonna mix it um, quickly over a low speed and gradually increasing your speed. And then after mixing it nicely, we're gonna put it on our pans. Now, one tips, guys. Uh, I am using these long pans because um, we are just gonna eat this in the house. But if you are planning to sell it by tray, you can make two eight by eight pans. So you're just gonna divide your batter, and then you make two pans. So because that is the standard size that you're gonna sell like your brownies or any squares that you want but it's up to you if you're gonna sell it by slice then you can use any pens for me i like to use this one so it's just only one go and then it's just for eating anyway and then we're gonna flatten it using an angled spatula to make sure that the butter is equally divided into your pans you can use anything that you wanted to flatten it or level your butter but it's so easy to use an angled spatula and then finally we will put our nuts on top of it so as i've said you can choose any nuts of your preference or this is just an optional if you don't like nuts you can omit this process so don't put nuts on your bars at the same time i am preheating my oven at 350 degrees fahrenheit after this we will gonna put it in the oven and we will cook it for about 32 minutes and you just gonna take a look after 32 minutes if it is not soft on top then it's done but if not you can add a little bit extra time of five minutes to make it complete for 38 minutes so after you take it out from the oven you're gonna let it cool down in a cooling rock and then the proper way to take it out is you're gonna loosen the side and then I use another parchment paper so when I invert it I I don't gonna lose my nuts so I'll just put a parchment paper on top then I'm gonna put the cooling rock over it And then you gonna invert it. And then you gonna remove your parchment paper. See how e easy it is when you grease and put parchment paper nicely. And then after that, you gonna put your board on top of your of your baked goods and then you invert it again quickly and then we can slice it and divide according to the sizes of your preference so this is the finished product of a recipe today the caramel squares with walnut topping it is so quick and easy and best for beginners 
If you didn't catch up all the list of ingredients, I am writing it down in the description below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you will be updated when I will upload another amazing recipe. Please take care everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, have a good day, and I will see you again on my next video.